Good evening. Hey guys, it's Aaron Laurie with Plan Free. We uh, wanted to show you the apartment here in Puerto Escondido that we ultimately decided on. As we mentioned in one of our other videos, we've done some apartment hunting in the area and we've also made a video on that to share with you what's available in the price range that we looked at in this area of Puerto Escondido, Mexico currently. We were willing to go up in price uh, for rent for a place, but honestly we found a gap in what's available here currently in that there were many studios and hostel type of accommodations and then you would move to sort of upper end all-inclusive hotels and full homes which is above our price range so what we were hoping for was that we would find like a one bed a true one bedroom with a door separating the bedroom from the rest of the living space and we found those to be in um, short order yeah. here uh, as we mentioned in our other videos so Hopefully in the future, they will be building more true one bedrooms for the area for people to take advantage of that kind of layout. Bienvenido. Okay, so this is our chosen space. Yes, it's a studio, it's not top of our list. We're mid 40s and we were hoping to have a bedroom door for one of us who sleeps late and the other one of us who works early. <laughs> um, but we just, in our price range, as Air mentioned before, they're a little bit lacking and for the price we were found this one for, we just snapped it up. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows. It's bright and airy. The ceiling fans go like a rocket ship. They're really fast. They installed aircon for us and only charged us slightly more to cover the electricity. So overall, it's going to be a good space. We even asked for a few extra things. They brought us extra pillows. They brought us a table and chairs and cleaned the place. And uh, we may not show you all through the kitchen, but it was um, kind of minimally stocked with older stuff. And they brought us brand new frying pans, kitchenware, silicone spatulas, towels. So it's it's really going to be comfortable now. So a couple of things that I will add to what Lori has mentioned as to why we chose this space. Yes, it's not perfect, uh, but it was fairly economical price-wise. Did, did you mention what we paid? I didn't. Do you want me to? Yeah. So we found it listed on Facebook Marketplace for 7,500 pesos. When we walked through it, there was no aircon and we knew the heat would be a little tough for us for the first little bit in Puerto. So we asked for aircon. He said, yeah, we were planning to install it. Yes. And so we negotiated a thousand more pesos per month for rent just to cover the bill. So a total of 8,500 pesos per month for the rent. And if the bills go any higher, we just made a, a, an arrangement that show us the bill, we'll pay whatever we use for electricity. Yeah. Now this place was uh, quite economical compared to quite a few of the other places that we've seen, uh, that we've made the other video on that you can check out. So it was towards the lower end of the price range with Aircon. And one of the things that sort of um, complemented that value and price was that the amount of windows that are in this place uh, and also the fact that it's on the second level. So we're a little bit yeah. elevated, uh, which gains us a little bit more privacy. Uh, let's say you're hot, your first cup of coffee, you haven't had a chance to dress yet or whatever. You don't have to do that here. There's no one going to be looking in your window. Yeah. And also when you look around, you can see quite a few trees. Tomorrow when the light's a little better, I will add a clip right here and seamlessly show you that. But you can get in a, a, a nice view, I'd say, you know, out of three of the walls. It's gonna be nice, there's lots of greenery around, so that was another thing that added for us. It's bright, it has a view, it's private. Yes, it's a studio, that's not the best for us. We would prefer a one bedroom, uh, and it was very economical, so that's good. So, back to the economical. When we saw it listed, I mentioned 7,500 pesos. For, so in Canadian dollars, that comes out to 469 Canadian dollars for the month. Yeah. So and without aircon, that was going to be water, um, electricity, everything included. So with the new negotiated rent of 8,500 pesos per month, it's 500 Canadian dollars a month. So whatever we end up using for electricity, we're, we're more than happy to pay. This is way below 
budget. I think we were willing to even go up to what a thousand Canadian dollars. A thousand, twelve hundred, even. Yeah, but so. again, we couldn't find something in that thousand range. So then we went, okay, let's go cheap then. So we found eighty-five hundred a month. Yeah, and so we'll use those savings in our mind that uh, helps us rent a scooter for the entire time we're here uh, for free basically and it covers quite a bit of our food as well so we'll take the price savings and put put it to good use now let's show you maybe a little bit of the view if you'd like to follow more of our experiences in mexico over the next six months click subscribe to our channel and the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out if you'd like to support the channel for free, click the like button and maybe watch a few more of our videos. If you're interested to look more into Mexico, we recommend you watch this video next.